If you have ever had a pinched nerve or severe back pain, you know just how miserable they can make your life. It came and it came and it came. It was, at the end, it was horrible. I couldn't sleep. In the morning, I was waking up. I was, you know, crying, yelling, you know, like a baby. And so I said to Marlene, we must do something. We were just going to Paris, just at that time, and I said, we have our ticket to go to Paris. We have to cancel. I cannot go to Paris as I am, you know, going in the subway, climbing stairs up and down and up and down. It was not possible. It was just like, there must be some way to fix this, and we just kept trying one thing after another, physical therapy, cortisone shots, chiropractic manipulation, and nothing was working. And it, and it was because of a physical therapist who told us about the Neurospine Institute. She said, you should call them and make an appointment. And it was so easy, we just went to the website. Within a week we had an appointment and it was great. So. Finally, we met Dr. Gallo. She was watching my MRI the, and also the radio x-rays. And she said, well, you know, I can fix this. In George's particular case, he had spinal stenosis and he also had some scoliosis. Spinal stenosis is a medical condition where an abnormal narrowing of the spinal canal creates pressure on the spinal cord or nerve root. This pressure can cause a host of symptoms, including numbness, weakness, and pain. His problem was the nerve pain, right? Yeah. The sciatic yeah, yes. pain oh, when yeah. you walk. Yes. He wasn't really having so much back pain. No, right. It was the nerve pain, and mm -hmm. when he tried to walk, which is a typical story with, with stenosis, when the patient tries to walk or stand or do any activity, the pain starts to the point where they can't be active. And that was George's big problem, is he was becoming less and less and less and less active in order to deal with the pain, which is a, you know, it's a terrible problem for someone who likes to be active and who's clearly reached a very advanced age healthily by being active. So Georges was very concerned about the, the sciatica pain, not so much the back pain, but the sciatica. And that I felt was gonna be fairly easy to fix with a very simple procedure where we just go in and unpinch the nerve, no fusing, no, instrumentation, no hardware, no metal, no bone graft, no extensive operation. You simply don't want to do that at someone his age. You want to fix the problem as quickly as you can and get out. Well, actually, I went to go visit him the next day yeah. at, after surgery, and George is holding court in his hospital room <laughs> in his velvet gown and velvet slippers. And I say, George, I said, how do you feel? He says, perfect. <laughs> You know, it's difficult to forget you are French. <laughs> it was very French. It was very, very, very French. So afterwards, when George came for his follow-up, he was so excited because he, he, his pain had been relieved and he could go back to Paris. That was the big thing because, you know, they go back to Paris every year and, and spend six months out of the year in Paris. And in Paris, you walk everywhere, everywhere. And George was afraid he would never see Paris again because he, he couldn't walk. But after his surgery, he realized he would be able to go back to Paris. So I saw him in the saw him when he came back in the clinic, and I said, "How are you doing?" Ah, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. So he's, he mm -hmm. said, "I said, are you going to go back to Paris?" Yes, I'm going back. He says, "And I want to show you Paris mm -hmm. in the springtime." And so that's how I made probably the longest trip for a house call ever on record <laughs> <laughs> from Eugene, Oregon to Paris, France to check on my wonderful patient who indeed did show me Paris. We could not keep up with George. <laughs> Thanks to the surgical skills of Dr. Catherine Gallo at the Neurospine Institute in Eugene, Oregon. Georges got his life back and was able to enjoy his trip back home to Paris.